This is not just any multi-tool. This is the Ever Ratchet. This is possibly the world's smallest ratchet ever. If you're ever in a pinch and need to screw something in or out, this tool can save the day. You no longer have to readjust your bit holder to turn a screw. It also has a pry bar, bottle opener, ferro rod, Phillips bit, and more. And it's by today's sponsor, Gear Infusion, a USA company that makes EDC tools that won't weigh you down. To learn more about their products, check out Gear Infusion, links in the description. Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're going through six or seven knives that I think are underappreciated. I think these knives deserve a little bit more attention. Now, the first one is an older model, but they do still have them. Now, here's the thing. When I say older model, what I mean is that they made them a while back, and they did a really good job, and they were super popular. Then they came out with the new version, and they had a couple little changes. One being this one, the original one, this is my buddy Bama Knife Guy's knife, um, has a deep hollow grind or a nice hollow grind. The shepherding tool was a little bit cleaner. You know, you can see exactly where the plunge grind ends, uh, but everything else is pretty much the same. You know, some of the materials might've changed. The new one is a flat grind. The choil is still good. I don't want to, you know, say it's a bad choil, but it's not as good as the hollow ground one. Uh, the grind is obviously not as slicey as the hollow grind, but it's still plenty good. And then now, it comes in different handle materials of different kinds of fat carbon fiber, 20 CV steel, titanium bolt lock, titanium mill pot clip, and backspacer. And the detent on both of these is very consistent, like very good. Um, they're very, very similar. So that's one thing they did keep. And it's a really stout detent. And I mean that in the best way. Lockup is really good. Um, the action's just amazing. And for a stumpy knife, I mean, you do got really good ergonomics on this knife. But when they came out the new version, it just didn't seem like it got as much love as you would have thought, considering how much love this one got. Maybe they shouldn't have made those changes, but they are on sale right now. I'll link everything down in the description. Next is the Vanguard Atomic. My goodness, is this thing snappy. This thing has, just listen to it. It almost sounds like really loud finger snapping. It has a really cool sound to it, especially in person. Um, and the action is just ridiculous. This has a very minimal flipper tab, but my goodness, does it work. Um, we have a drop point blade in, what blade seal is this? I don't even remember. Um, I think it's 20 CV or M390. Um, I'm just gonna go with that. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. But titanium frame lock, titanium mill pocket clip, and full titanium backspacer. I like the way they, they did this landing zone right here and just you know the way they fit all that in. Great access to the lock bar. You cannot use the fuller though. That is the one downside. But the flipping action is really, really well done. But to me, you know, this is a knife that I, I, I loved, and I just haven't seen a lot of people screaming about it um, like the way I did. You know, when I first uh, did my first impressions on it, you know, I was uh, very impressed. I would have not thought that I would like this thing as much as I do. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't have little negatives. You know, just like any knife design will, but. All in all, man, this is a very solid choice. And speaking of Vanguard, we have the Cheetah. Now the Cheetah has, woo, very smooth action, M390 blade steel and amazing, amazing thumb studs. I love, love, love these thumb studs. It almost has a little bit of a Chris Reeves knives design esque to it. Um, Tuya Knives is the designer of this, and it has carbon fiber inlays that are done extremely, extremely well on both sides. Titanium mill pot clip cut off of the lock bars on the inside. Good um, access to the lock bar, and it is nicely textured. Very, very smooth. The blade is nicely crowned with this hand set and finish. And the action is just, it's, it's ridiculous. The, the thumb studs are so comfortable, regardless of how you're going to deploy, whether you're gonna go up with your thumb, you're gonna go out with your thumb, you're gonna reverse flick it, doesn't matter, slow roll it, it's all good. And the ergos are really good. It's a great size EDC knife. Now, you know, this, this is a premium knife, so you know, the price is still, you know, it's up there a little bit, but it is a really, 
good knife in the titanium has this blasted finish over it that does add to a little bit of like a tactile feel to it when it's in your hand and all in all just because of the blade shape the handle complementing each other really nice this is a very well thought out knife the cheetah by vanguard and next is the mongoose the jerry moen mongoose now i got to test one of these as a, a custom version. This is a production version made by Riet. Um, it has a beautiful spear point blade. I freaking love this blade shape design. I love the bottleneck handle. It just, to me, this is a very attractive knife. Um, now everybody's gonna be a little different. I, there's a lot of different styles of knives that I find attractive, obviously, uh, but I do find this one very much attractive. I love that, that bottleneck shape, slightly contoured toward the fat carbon fiber on this is just gorgeous not sure all what versions are available anymore uh i think they kind of sold a little slow so i'm not sure if he's going to bring them back or not but they were in stock the last time i checked but you know i i haven't checked in a couple weeks so i'm not positive but I'm, i imagine you'd be able to find it pretty easily it is a titanium frame lock with the fat carbon fiber overlays amazing action on the spear point blade the flipper tab yeah it's a big flipper tab so you expect it to be good my goodness is it good super duper snappy but all in all man just i love the look i love the design and i think it's done extremely extremely well I'm going to bring up a budget knife really quick. And I wasn't going to, but I looked over to my right and I seen my cousin's predator. I gave this to him a while back and this is going to prove to my point, right? So first off, I know I've raved about this. I know I have, and I know Stasa 23 has and a couple other people. And I do think a lot of people do appreciate it, but I don't think enough, not for what this knife deserves. And I'm going to explain exactly why. One, this one has been through hell and back. My cousin has been using, he does all different types of different types of work from landscaping to construction and you name it, he does everything. And he's been carrying it and using it. And considering this thing is not broken, snapped, no play, any direction, it is still bank volume rock solid the edge is actually really good still i mean it's dull as shit why do i keep cursing it's dull as all hell but it's um and it is microchipped a little bit but this is the d2 version they do have a a 14 c 28 m version but this D2 version has held up really well. Shove and tone plunge grind is as good as it gets. If I was gonna label this like one out of 10, you know, five out of 10, this is like a 10 out of 10 sharpening tone and plunge grind. It's all the way back there. Look at all that life. You'll never run out of sharpenings on this guy. The lock is super strong. They did a great job with the D10 thumb stud placement's really good. It's a heavy knife, but I mean that in the best possible way. It, it feels substantial. It feels like it's ready for work. It feels like it can hold up to to, to the abuse and it can and the blade shape spear point blade shape coupled with these ergonomics of this red micarta my goodness is this just a useful blade shape and i'm going to tune it up for my cousin this he does have some patina going on it but it's d2 so you kind of expect that but not as bad as i would have thought i think i can get rid of most of it um i'm going to try to get him a 14 c 28 m version i think that that would suit him a little bit better with the stainless steel but all in all wow has this thing held up and this thing just proves to my point um because when i give a, a knife to one of my cousins or one of my family members and it comes back still alive I mean, that just, to me, that, that screams volumes of, of how awesome the knife is. Because it's one thing to have 500 knives and switch them out daily or weekly, you know, where one knife is just never getting abused to, compared to somebody who's carrying basically one knife. Maybe they have three knives that they rotate, uh, but they use basically the same knife every single day, day in and day out, the thing gets abused. When it can last through that long term, through hard use, heavy use, like not, not like light duty, real hard um life use um yeah that that's that's an amazing amazing thing especially for a very very well valued knife about 60 bucks wow 60 dollars man holy cow
Next is the Best Tech 9. Now this one is a straight, oh man, that thing is smooth. Phenomenal action. Sheep's foot blade, very streamlined or straightforward. Love the ergonomics on this knife. It's going to work in any grip. It's a great size. Um, very, very smooth. Phenomenal detent. Ha this one has somewhat of like a handset and finish on it. Um, it is almost a worn cliff because it does taper from the spine all the way down to the tip. Uh, this is just like this is just a swedge on top but it does have a slight bit of belly so a perfect worn cliff would be straight but this is going to respond and act very similar to a modified it's a modified worn cliff so it's going to respond and act just like a worn cliff um i freaking dig this knife quite a bit titanium mill pot clip titanium backspacer titanium frame lock m390 steel um stupid stupid smooth ceramic caged bearings but because of the ergonomics the blade shape and everything this is a phenomenal edc knife but i haven't seen anybody else talk about it really um ta hardware all the way around uh, i feel like i was the only one that maybe there were some other people that talked about it but what a cool knife, man. They did a really good job on it. You know, speaking of Best Tech really quick, because Best Tech has a few knives that I think deserve a bit more attention. This guy right here, now this thing's crazy, and I understand why people might not like the Razan. Raisin, Razan. Um, it is in magnet cut steel, but let me tell you, aside from its crazy wicked look, this thing's badass it really is honestly i wouldn't even think so like me and i know why people aren't uh going for it because i wouldn't have either looking at it I'd be like yeah it's just not my style when you get it in hand you feel this detent you feel how perfectly placed this thumb disc thing is and just look at it it's, it, it's textured perfectly to me it wound up coming in just like the perfect spot then you um you Go to the blade, very, very pokey blade. And I know it's a weird blade shape, but my goodness, does it, it winds up working pretty good. And then the lock bar access, very comfortable disengagement, fall shut action. If the detent just, and the detent and the clothes make it feel extremely, extremely premium because it has, like while any knife can have a strong detent, right? There's a certain level of quality that you feel in certain types of detents the way it breaks, how clean it breaks, um, the strength of it, just all of those little details. And this one definitely has, and you can hear it when it pulls itself back in. The uh, titanium mill pocket clip it is nice, um, nicely tapered, so it looks very similar. It, it's a good style pocket clip for the knife. Titanium backspacer with a nice little um, groove inside of it. Tons of milling on the inside. We got speed holes. You know it's doing at least 140 plus. Um, I haven't topped it out yet, but but it can do at least 140 miles an hour. The speed holes definitely play a huge part in that. And then you got the raindrops next to it. Um, and the magnet cut steel. Magnet cut was being done by Best Tech at, I think, 62, 63, but now they're doing it at 63, 64, and I just got confirmation back, and I even seen the HRC test on my own knife design. You know what? Might as well pull it up. Might as well, right? Might as well while we're here. So we have the Neves Knives design uh, that's being OEM'd by Best Tech, but it's my knife, so it'll be sold on Neve Knife Co. We have a Magna Cut Blade, 63-64 HRC. I did see the confirmation on the testing. Um, we have a Harpoon, slightly recurved Tonto with a dual grind. Um, I love a Harpoon Tonto, first of all, and I, I kind of wanted an American Tonto, uh, but I didn't. I went with a little tiny bit of belly there. It's very subtle, but the action on this thing is ridiculous, man. It did such a good job. Now, there is a couple little changes. Um, not very much, though. The 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 There's going to be a better choil on it. The The, the Logo is going to be on the pivot and just little things like that. All in all, I'm very proud of it. I'm very happy with it. I find it to be very ergonomic. It works very well as an EDC knife. And the, oh, excuse me, the action is just so good on it. Um, I freaking love it. So let's get back to Best Tech. But Best Tech has some amazing knives that are not getting as much attention as I would have thought. And there's one other one really quick, and I've talked about this one before, so I'm not gonna go into it like crazy. And I know why, it's because it is very expensive, but my goodness, the Cetus, man. 
Why am I the only one who goes crazy over the Cetus? This is a beast of a knife. This is a knife that I think is not only a good tactical knife, a good EDC knife, a good self-defense knife. It's literally an all-terrain knife. You have a drop point, very pokey tanto, but the tanto appears very thick, but then this is super thin, super thin. You can see how much meat they had to take out. And the sharpening tool and plunge grind is done very well. Very strong locking system with a crossbar lock. It is a thumb disc action, but pff, it works so, so good. You can't move this thumb disc, but it does, and it lays nice and flat, so that's kind of cool, but it works. It lands in a good spot. d is not that strong, but that's kind of a good thing with the uh, disc. The micarta in the ergos, you see how it tapers and shoots out that way. It works, man. It feels really good. You feel like you could just jam it into something. And then slicing with it because of this thin hollow grind, you trap materials. It really traps materials. And this is a knife that you can use that tip with and not worry about it breaking while it's still very precision oriented. The pocket clip, phenomenal pocket clip. Titanium mill pocket clip, but I love the way they did it. Titanium backspacer, M390 steel. But again, you know, this is, and this is a poltergeist design. Um, you could tell by the hardware. Anyways, so there you guys go. There's a quick video of some knives that I think are not getting as much attention as they deserve. Um, some of them I do understand why, but that doesn't stop them from being underappreciated knives that I think are awesome. Work hard, stay tough until next time. Peace.